hey guys welcome back to the channel today uh, i'm gonna do another video so i think this is the third or fourth uh, devlog um basically what i want to talk about today is uh the mobile experience of my app um so if you guys don't know uh in the last devlog i've talked about uh, what i'm currently uh developing so i'm developing this uh um web app and mobile app um to help people read books track their books get books recommendations uh totally free so if you guys want to go check it out it's up uh go to mybookquest.com um but yeah i'm currently telling you guys uh how i'm building it uh what are my constraints what difficulties and everything so what i wanted to do is i saw a lot of those apps that are already out there um have mobile apps and this is something that uh i really wanted for my app so uh, I've heard in the past about uh, a framework called Capacitor G JS. Uh, so basically, Capacitor JS is um, like uh, Cordova, so Apache Cordova, which basically can take a web app and uh, con uh, convert it to a native uh, mobile app, um, which is pretty uh, useful in my case because I'm using Next.js. Uh, Next.js, which is a server-side rendered uh, framework compared to AngularJS. Um, so my first thought was, yeah, let's go and use Capacitor.js to port my Next.js app to the um, basically the App Store uh, and Android Store. Uh, the main problem I got with that is when you're using uh, dynamic routing, which I am using... Um, in uh, here for example for my books and everything um, I need uh, to use dynamic routing to get those URLs and it won't work with Next.js 14 uh, because the way that uh, you're using Capacitor JS is you're basically taking the rendered version of the Next.js app so that everything compiled and you build it into a static app for the mobile and seeing, since Next.js is too dynamic for my needs, um, it wouldn't work with Capacitor JS. So what I ended up doing is searching another for an alternative. And what I found is this uh, Next uh, um, iPhone uh, PWA. So PWA stands for uh, Next Progressive Web App, uh, simply uh, Progressive Web App which basically allows you to use your web app with whatever framework you're using uh, as a native app for your, your um, the cell phones. So this is something that's very cool because the configuration is very simple. You simply add a package and in your next.config.js, uh, uh, but my, in my case it's .ts, but you basically add this uh, with uh, PWA uh, section and basically you host all your uh, application is going to be displayed in the slash public uh, which you're going to have to add on your uh, device and you create your manifest file which i've generated with this simple uh, generator right here so you put the add the short name um, and then after that uh, the start url that's going to be uh, that's going to be just a slash right there same thing slash for there and uh, what basically happens is uh, you're gonna have your full uh, web app so uh, that's pretty simple honestly it took me like 15 minutes to uh, to uh, basically uh, create this and right now what I have is uh, if you can see I have the web app right here which is still usable only on the web uh, but I have also this opportunity to uh, click install app. So what I can do is click install and what we'll do is uh, It will uh, behave like uh, an app. So if I can uh, I can go on my cell phone and show you guys so If I go right here on my cell phone, you can see I have the my book quest logo and I can simply click on my book quest and I have the app right here so uh, the app I can use with my cell phone and it has basically the same capabilities as uh, any other uh, standard app 
So that's pretty much how I did it. Uh, I mean, for me, it was the simplest way. I didn't want to break my head and everything. So uh, I think if you guys are uh, looking to migrate uh, your app or uh, make your app usable on uh, mobile devices, just make sure that you have all your configuration to have your app uh, responsive. So in my uh, case, I made sure that I can use my uh, apps uh, with different devices so just use the dev tools and uh, make sure everything is responsive and beautiful so that your users don't get scared um, of the ui once it's responsive um, test it rigorously and then after that port it with the pwa uh, method i showed you so thank you for watching and uh, if you guys have any questions make sure to subscribe uh, write in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one